stop two on the Castle GX Cup Series brings us to Rockingham, North Carolina for the running of the GM Goodwrench Service 400. 40 laps around this racetrack. On the pole for this race in the Jimmy Spencer car, Alexander Dawson. Alongside of him is, ju is Justin Acosta, the number nine. Pole speed 171 miles an hour. Row two has Josh Sears. Alongside of him is Johnny Gardner in the 18. Row three, Aaron Reed in the 66 and Derek Walker in the 26. Row four has Jacob Rodriguez and Dougie Shears. Row five, Jack Richards and Mike Michael Dawson in row f six has Jack Richards, our runner-up at Daytona. Alongside of him is Jeremy Doobie in the 22. 40 laps from this racetrack, Alexander Dawson is going to lead him down. Here at, here at Rockingham, North Carolina. An all-forward front row here. Here's the green flag waves. We are underway at Rockingham. 40 laps from this racetrack. On the break, Alexander Dawson gets a good start. Here comes Josh Sears in the number one car. Part of the four-car Sears team, I believe. No, it's three cars, actually. Josh Sears now takes the lead. The number one Skull Classic Ford. Started this race, I believe, in the third spot. Josh Sears, by the way, his, as I said, his, his Sears team were a three-car team consisting of himself, Jake Sears in the 10 car, both of them Fords, and the number 24 Chevrolet of Ashley Sears, our Daytona 500 winner, which, by the way, is riding in the 26 spot, so she's got uh, quite a ways to go. Still early in the race here, as we are completing three laps in this race. Josh Sears, out in front. Alexander Dawson, our pole sitter, running in second position. Third is Jacob Rodriguez. Fourth, Eric Webler. And the number five, Levi Garrett Chevrolet. Jack Richards getting losing a spot to Johnny Gardner, and here comes a 20 car to the inside. That's Hunter Carlson. Number 20, Rob Moroso, car for 1990, and right behind him, Zed Weinstein. And the number 70, Pontiac, the J.D. McDuffie car for 1991. And he's got a mirror full of Aaron Reed in the 66. Being pushed by the 43 of Matthew Rodriguez. And he dives in the inside of Aaron Reed now as they come down to the out of turn two, down the back stretch they come. Rod Reed is going to take a spot. That was number eight. That was for the number eight spot. And he's got and he'll bring Dougie Shears with him in the 75 car. And he's got a mirror full of Skyland Carlson in the 21. Through the field, there's Skyland Carlson. Aaron Reed getting passed by Jack Remesson in the 33 car. There's Derek Walker in the 26. Jasmine Acosta in the 6. Getting around Jack Richards. The Acosta team, a big team this season. They have five, they have four cars in this field. Ryan, Justin, Jasmine, and John. And speaking of Jasmine, she goes to the inside of Derek Walker. So give Jasmine the 13th spot now. And she gets around Derek Walker. Now Jack Bermesson is going to fall to the clutches of her and getting passed as well. So Jasmine picking up spots a little bit. She's up to the 12th spot now. Fred Christopher to 68, and there's Ashley Sears in the 24, our Daytona 500 winner. Has come up through the field very, very well, too. Ashley started this race back in the... Started 16th in this field, actually. So she hasn't picked up through the, much through the field. 
finishes up to the 14th spot. Made the chase, by the way, in the Pepsi Racing Series in her first appearance in that in her first season appearance. Also finished in the top 10 in the Casual GTX Cup Series last season. There's Adam Chambers in the 17, running pretty good. He's running 15. Jack Richards, Derek Walker, Trey Campbell in the 30. He's got Jack Remesson on the inside in the 33 car. He's Skull Bandit Chevrolet, the Harry Gant car. And up high is the 7 of, of John Acosta, and he gets passed by Josh Osborne, our Season 2 champion. He's being followed by Sack Carlson on the 27. There's John Acosta in the 7. Charles Jackson in the number 11 Budweiser Ford. John, or Justin Acosta, he was our outside pole sitter. He's dropped the 24th. Something wrong with his car. Dylan Poteet in the 94 car. Trying to get the bug sorted out on that machine. Mike Becker in the 42. There's Jeremy Doobie in the 22 car. And Batson in the 3. There's there's Jake Sears in the 10 car. He's trying to, he's got the four of Ryan Acosta to the inside. And all over his back bumper is Keith Batson in the 28. I'm sure not Keith's not gonna like this run at all. And Michael Dawson bring up the rear in the 32nd position. Out of this 32 car field. You look at the pace car there. And that brings us back to Josh Sears, who leads this event. And right now, the Sears team would be undefeated. Right now, this would stay like this as we are seven, working on 17 of 40 laps. Jacob Rodriguez trying to go to the inside of the 23 of Alexander Dawson. And that's and that was a turn out, and Jacob makes the move as he go, as he gets by Alexander and Alexander now ducks back in line. He knows if he gets caught on the outside, the he's pretty much gonna get freight trained here. Hunter Carlson being followed by Matthew Rodriguez and the 18 of Johnny Gardner. Now Matthew goes to the inside now. This is for the fourth position. But meanwhile, Matthew's about ready to maybe, maybe possibly going to lose fifth to Johnny Gardner in the 18 car. Johnny falls back in line. Now here comes Dougie Shears being pushed by Zed Weinstein in the 70 car. Skylon Carlson being pushed by the 66 of Aaron Reed. Skyland moving his car moving his way up to the ninth position now. Aaron Reed behind him in tenth. Whoa! Aaron looked like he got a little loose there coming down through the turn, but Aaron still gets to manage to get around the 21 of Skyland Carlson with the help of Eric, of Eric Webler. Now Eric goes to the inside in the five car. And Eric's going to try to take the spot from Aaron Reed now, and he does so indeed. So move the number five Chevrolet up to the, I think, the tenth spot. Nope, that was for ninth, actually. Adam Chambers getting around Trey Campbell in the 30. He's got the help of the, six, of the 26 car, Derek Walker. Derek back in this ride after uh, not after missing out on this ride in season two. 
to Jeremy Doobie, who now drives a 22 car. Struggling with that car a little bit, by the way. Jeremy is in the 24th spot with the number 22 Maxwell House car. Derek right now runs in the 12th position. That is one of the fast cars in this series, by the way. At least, for, at least in this race, at least. Here he comes to the inside. Going to make a move on the 17 of Adam Chambers. Chambers had a good run in the, in the, Daytona, 5, in the Daytona 500. Matthew Rodriguez going to the inside of Hunter Carlson. And he does so indeed. But meanwhile, we got a battle for the lead here. Jacob Rodriguez to the inside of Josh Sears. And he's got it. So Matthew Rodriguez, or Jacob Rodriguez, excuse me, with 13 laps to go, takes the lead. He's a former winner here at Rocky Candy. He won the fall race here in season one. Looking to bring the Miller Genuine draft number two to victory lane. Alexander Dawson trying to make a charge for the number one spot. He was the pole sitter for the event. Imagine how frustrating it's going to be for him. He started from the pole and hasn't led a lap yet. He's got 11 laps to try to catch him, though. We'll see if he can do it or not. He closed the gap that time by down to 38 hundredths of a second. He's got the help though from the 43 car of Matthew Rodriguez. Up to the third position now, but Matthew's car's been looking pretty strong. We'll see what he does here. The interval's still the same the last time by. Ten laps remaining. As we continue to watch this battle for the number two position now, Johnny Gardner in the 18 car has kind of joined in on the fun. Matthew takes a look to the inside of Alexander Dawson, but no. Dawson slams the door on, on him in, in, in the turn number one. Dodge in first, Ford in second, Dodge in third, Chevrolet in the fourth position, and a Pontiac in fifth. All four manufacturers in the top five. Eight laps to go. <clears throat> Dawson lost a little bit that last time by. It's now 41 hundredths of a second. See what it is this time by. Rodriguez crossed the line now. Now here comes Alexander Dawson. Still the same margin. Jacob Rodriguez has got that clean air in his favor. Number two, Miller Jr. and Draft Dodge. Out in front. See what the intervals this is done by. Check it one more time. Lost a little bit of ground. Alexander Dawson did. It's down, down to 42 hundredths of a second. Five laps to go for Jacob Rodriguez. Matthew Rodriguez trying to go to the inside. He's going to try to make it a brotherly sweep here. The Rodriguez is very, very tough in this series. And they are one and two right now, but not if Johnny Gardner's got anything to say about it. He goes to the inside of Matthew Rodriguez. Johnny Gardner. They try to make a little charge. No. Matthew Rodriguez is gonna take a little is gonna slam the door on Johnny Gardner as they come out of the second turn. That's gonna let Jacob Rodriguez pull away because of the side-by-side -side racing. It may be fun to watch, but the penalty you pay for it is that you lose time to the leader. Sort of better to stay 
so all the better to stay single file, but the interval is six tenths of a second now, so it's not going to make any difference. Jacob Rodriguez, unless something breaks on his car, is going to possibly win this race. The GM Goodrich 400 down to two laps to go for car number two. Johnny Gardner to the end zone. He's going to spoil that brotherly top two, and he does. He goes to number two now. Johnny Gardner to second. Matthew Rodriguez down to third. Dougie Shears in fourth. But meanwhile, the white flag weighs for Jacob Rodriguez. One lap remaining here at, here at Rockingham. He's got that number two merging in draft. Dodge on cruise control now. Backstretch, half a lap away from the finish in the third turn now as he finesses the car through the third and fourth turns now. And out of turn number, Rodriguez is waiting, wastes no time on getting that first win. Jacob Rodriguez wins the GM Goodrich Service 400. Second, I think we'll go to Johnny Gardner. So, there's the average speed, 163.982 miles an hour. Jacob Rodriguez, once he got on clean air, he was there was no stopping him. He wins the race. Johnny Gardner second. Dougie Shears third. Eric Webler fourth. Matthew Rodriguez dropped down to fifth. Josh Sears, who led the most laps, he finishes sixth. Alexander Dawson from pole to seventh. Derek Walker eighth. Adam Chambers, a good run in ninth. Zed Weinstein finishes in tenth position. Craig Campbell eleventh. Hunter Carlson. Jack Bresmesson. Aaron Reed and Josh Osborne matches his car number, finishing 15th. 16 through 20, Skyland Carlson, Zach Carlson, Fred Christopher, Ashley Sears, and Charles Jackson, the top 20 of the car. And here's the rest of the finishing order. John Acosta, Jeremy Doobie, Dylan Pote, Ann Batson, Mike Becker. He's not going to be happy with that finish. Michael Dawson, Ryan Acosta, John, Justin Acosta, Keith Batson, he's not going to be able to this finish as, as well. Jasmine Acosta, Jack Richards, and, jo and Jake Sears brings up the rear in the field. But a win for, the Rod for Team Rodriguez goes to victory lane as it is Jacob Rodriguez. Going to victory lane, that car looks good in victory lane, I should say. And here's the points as they are right now. Dougie Shears has the early lead after two races. And Matthew Rodriguez, Ashley Sears, Eric Webler, and, ja and Josh Sears, the top five. But just two of 36 races in, so still early in the season. But there's not too late to think about points. Points lead you to the champion can lead you to championships. And there's the... Rest are right now. Michael Dawson lead, bring up the rear, but as I said, early in the season, as the next race on the tour will bring us to Las Vegas for the Shelby Four the Shelby Four Hundred.